This was my son. Travieso is not a name his mother knows. She knows him as Diego. This photo was taken there, just the way I left him when he was 14 years old. He was a restless child. He was playful, sometimes a pain, but always loving with me, very helpful. I could always count on him for everything. We were always together. I always wanted to bring Diego, the youngest, because I felt he needed me more, but I couldn't do it. As the years passed, Diego rebelled against his brother and moved out, and Vilma sensed he was getting off track. It came out on Saturday, April 16, 2005. Diego, then 18, was convicted of attempted murder. I didn't read it. I only saw the photo. And I broke down. I couldn't. That moment was something that really affected me. It was like having proof of the reality. I can't get it through my head that he could have made that decision. It's as if he were a different person. When I saw that terrible photo and saw that face of anger, of hate, those aren't Diego's eyes. That's not Diego's smile. That's not my Diego. I never thought that I was going to be so far away from my son. Now he's in jail, further away from me. I've never stopped loving him. I can't. I can't stop loving him. Every day I love him more and more. She has not given up her immigrant's dream of a better life for the son she said goodbye to on June the 9th, 2000. If God has him here, it's for a reason, a purpose. And if he still has me alive, it's with a purpose. So I'm going to be here in this world as long as God allows. And I can endure it.